The question of discussion today is how confident are we in the Colts going into the 21 season? 2021 season is going to be a roller coaster. We know how tough the schedule is going to be, uh, but we we are we're not even there yet, and we're currently going through mishaps between the fan base and the players with all these protocols and everything going into next season. They're pretty much forfeiting games if COVID protocols, if someone gets it and we're not healthy enough. I feel like they're forfeiting games for that. And that's going to be a very pivotal point going into next year. Not saying that the Colts are going to be, you know, prone to prone to that. But, you know, there's not a lot of vaccinated people on the, on the team. And even vaccinated people, including the coach, are catching it. And, you know, catching they don't even though they don't have any symptoms, it's going to play a big role going into next season. Being as though that the, that the surge is going back and a lot of people are getting contacted with it. And it can be tough. It's just a lot of people on the sideline, to be honest. I said I wasn't going to talk about this, but, you know, this is the thing that has to be brought up into a discussion. Now, we've been on, to if you're not on Twitter, the fan base is pretty much splitting sides, but everything going on right now. And, you know, the players are, you know, defending themselves and everything. And I respect that. And I love each and every player for doing that because they have, they are entitled to their own opinion. Just being honest. Like I said, for me, it doesn't matter to me. You do what you got to do at the end of the day. As long as you can play football and I'm supporting the team, that's all that matters at the end point is just supporting the Colts in general. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. I think most people, they seem to forget that. It's just a personal perception of how they feel. They just think everybody should just be entitled to that. And it's not. it, doesn't, it just doesn't work that way, you know? So like I said, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Um, you do what you got to do at the end of the day. Uh, it's, everything happens for a reason. That's another thing I go into as well. Uh, but going into next season, uh, for the Colts, it's going to be a very tough schedule. And how confident are we in the Colts going into next season to make the playoffs? You look at this roster, it's a lot of untapped potential. A lot of untapped potential. We know what certain players can do. We know what they can do, what they can bring to the offense or to the defense in general, or even to the special teams like Naheem Hines and Isaiah Rogers. We know they can do a special team, but when you look at to the schedule of what we got to go up against week by week, we're going in and out battling. We're pretty much going to be at war every week of the season. But I mean, at the middle of the season, that's when we get our little break from tough teams, but we're still going to have to struggle or maybe have a challenge or a test week by week, man. Uh, Spartan, we lost week, uh, Cam Akers when we're going up against the Rams, and that's going to be a very big matchup with Stafford and those guys. I don't know how the chemistry is going to look, even though they got training camps and everything. If this was last season and they got Stafford and they didn't have training camps due to the protocol situation, I would be more confident. But, you know, them losing Cam Akers is a big bonus for us. It's unfortunate for Cam Akers because a lot of people, including myself, are looking forward to seeing Cam Akers next year. It's going to be a roller coaster. I'm not saying that they're going to have a better chance of losing, but it's going to be more difficult for them to function without a high pivotal guy that, that can produce a lot of yards like cam Akers, but i mean there's a lot of free agent talent so they might pick somebody up before the season starts but when you look into the schedule it's going to be one of the toughest schedules to as a colts fan to try to maintain composure because we're going to have our ups and downs but when you look at this roster you look at a guy like carson wentz who's literally showing you week by week leadership and what he can bring to the Colts in this new fresh scenery, breath of fresh air for Carson, who needed it desperately because the Philadelphia fan base is just so toxic. It's so toxic to be a fan base. It really is. I understand that frustration, but when they're taking that out on the guy that pretty much was a leader and was trying to, you know, that was an MVP for him, even though Nick Foles took over the helm, I kind of understand what they're going through and how they're going to provide that as, you know, as a fan base. I understand. But, you know, for Carson Wentz, he definitely needed this change of scenery. He's literally showing his leadership week by week. He's out there in the rookies training camp, but watching them play. He's out there working out with guys like Mike Strachan and everything like that. He's literally working out with everyone to try to show the fan base that, hey, I'm the guy. I'm here to win, and I'm going to be a new person. He's literally showing that. Now, is that going to transpire into the NFL season? We don't know because the NFL season is not upon us yet. We still got a few, less than 49 days to wait for the season to start. We still got a preseason. We still got training camp that's going to be this week. All these things is going to be for us to watch. It's going to be exciting. But when you look at the team, Carson Wentz, who's shown potential already. He's shown untapped. He's not untapped, but he's shown MVP form potential as a quarterback 
when you give an offensive line, when you give them targets, when you give them a running back system, a good coaching staff, all these things that we have right now at Indianapolis, when you show them these things, even a rocking fan base, when you show them these things, Carson Wentz can be that guy. Of course, he has mishaps, holding the football too long and everything. Interceptions, it's normal. We understand that. But he's shown the potential of what he can bring when he has a good system around him. He's one of the, He's a system quarterback. He has that potential to be really good when he has a good supporting cast. So we're not we're we're not worried about Carson Wentz because we know how good he can be. It's just a matter of him staying composed of what he knows. He knows the agenda of what he got to do. So that's pretty much out the window of worrying about Carson Wentz. The wide receiver core. When you look at the wide receiver core, a lot of untapped potential. We're still unsold on Paris Campbell. Is he going to stay healthy? Like I said, that's another th- another smoking mirror when it comes to the Colts. Because we know how electric Paris Campbell can be. He's pretty much a Deshaun Jackson if he's healthy. And Deshaun Jackson, when he's healthy, is very good. When you look at those Eagles teams, Deshaun Jackson is very good. Takes the top off the defense every time when he's on the field. Literally. Even the last season, when he was before he got hurt, he took the top off the defense. No matter how old he is. He's just that fast. And that's just a, pretty much another Paris Campbell. But I feel like Paris Campbell can be even better. We've seen the flashes that he can bring, but that's just another sign of untapped potential. We know how dedicated Zachary Pascal can be. We know how committed he is. We know how reliable Paris Camp, uh, Zachary Pascal could be. Michael Pittman Jr. is another guy. Another guy, untapped potential. T.Y. Hilton, how's he going to perform next year? We know we brought him back because we almost lost in the Baltimore. How is he going to perform? When you look at the tight end core, is Mo Ali Cox going to step up? Kylan Granty, can he be sold? Can he be a solid tight end after Jack Doyle? How is Jack Doyle going to be? The offensive line, can the offensive line hold until Eric Fisher returns? Can Sam Tevy hold his spot? Another question mark. Can the defense be consistent enough like they were last year? Is Darius Leonard going to have another great season like his rookie year? Is, uh, is Rocky Sin going to wake up and be an actual corner? All these questions. Can the safeties Hold down the backfield. All these questions for her. Is Marlon Mack going to be good? Is Marlon Mack going to be another good running back like he was before he got hurt? All these things. Will he even be, tra- Will he even be traded during the season? It's another question. Is Jordan Wilkins going to be traded for draft picks? Because we can, need, we can use one going into next year's draft. All these questions go into effect as a Colts fan. And my answer to you guys is the Colts will make the playoffs next year. Guarantee it. I guarantee it. Rocky Sin is a guy I root for week in and week out, even with his with his down plays. I root for Rocky Sin because I just know he is a dog. He is a dog. He doesn't get enough credit for what he does. If you take a play, if you take away the self-disciplinary actions that he does on himself, other than that, he has a very solid game. Besides the self the self penalties. If he could just be more disciplined, he is a very solid corner for the Colts. But he just does get enough credit. We didn't even mention Bobby Okariki stepping into Anthony Walker Jr.'s shoes with Darius Leonard. We didn't speak into that. But I feel like this defense is going to take another step up because we know Flus and his sister, we know it's going to be a big task going into next season. But we just know. I feel like we're going to take that leap because we have been getting better and better. We don't even have a complete roster. We don't even have a complete roster. It's just a lot of untapped potential and Carson Wentz, basically. Simply as that. But I feel like we can definitely take that leap and make the playoffs again next year. You know, some teams took a step back, but I think we'll still I still I think we can still maintain 10 to 11 wins. No matter how tough the schedule is. I just so I'm sold on the Colts. Literally. Not being biased. I'm literally sold on the Colts. It's gonna be a roller coaster. I'm gonna warn you guys now. It's gonna be a roller coaster to be a Colts fan next year, but I just know we're gonna make the playoffs. But you guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section. How sold are you on the Colts? Will we make the playoffs? And how are, you, how are you currently standing with everything going on right now? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Once again, it's all love and positivity with me. I uh, appreciate all your support. Follow me on all the platforms. Links in the description. Be sure to check those out. This is Marcus, and until next time, you've been Culture Shock.